Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create this smartphone flat icon using Inkscape. First with the create rectangles and squares tool I'm going to click and drag to create a rectangle. Then over here for the width I'm going to enter 400 pixels and for the height 700 pixels. Then I'm going to use this option to add rounded corners to this rectangle. I'm going to click here and type 60. Next I'm going to grab the Select and Transform tool, Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Next I'm going to go back to the Create Rectangles and Squares tool and click on this option to make the corners sharp. And then I'm going to change the width to let's say 312 pixels and the height to 545 and I'm going to change the color of this one to let's say something gray for now grab the select and transform tool and start the align and distribute tool hold down the shift key and select the black rectangle then use these options to align this and next I'm going to grab the Create Rectangles and Squares tool again, click and drag like this and I'm going to change the width to 100 pixels and the height to 20 and for the rounded corners I'm going to select this option and type 10 then I'm going to position this over here Next I'm going to grab the Create Circles and Ellipses tool, hold down the control key to create a circle. Then I'll click on the Select and Transform tool, click on this option to keep the aspect ratio and I'm going to type 40 here to change the size of the circle and I'm going to place it over here for now. Next with the circle selected I'm going to add this object to the selection by holding down the Shift key then also the black rectangle in the back and I'm going to use this option to align them on the vertical axis. Next I'm going to click and drag like this to select all of the objects, go to the path menu and choose exclusion. Next I'm going to click on the create circles tool, hold down the control key to create a circle, then go to the select and transform tool and here for the width I'm going to type 1100 pixels then I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to use this one then I'll lower the selection to the bottom using this option then holding down the shift key I'll add this object to the selection and with the align and distribute tool I'm going to center this using these two options then I'll click away and select only this object, change the color to white then I'll select this tool which will allow me to edit this path I'm going to click on it to see the nodes then click on this one holding down the shift key I'm going to add to the selection this node then use this option to create a new node in the middle and I'll do the same for this corner as well Next I'll go over here to the snap controls bar and I'm going to make sure this option snap to smooth nodes is active. Now with the select and transform tool I'm going to click here, hold down the mouse button and drag a guide, double click on the guide and I'm going to get this dialog and here for the angle we can choose the angle of the shadow for example 45 degrees but in this case I'm going to type minus 45 degrees click OK then I'm going to drag one more guide double click on it minus 45 degrees for the angle click OK then I'll grab the guide and I'm going to position it over here make sure to snap to this node grab the other guide and position it over here then with the Bezier tool I'm going to click here click over here then here then over here 
Next I'm going to turn this option off to disable the snapping to smooth notes and I'm going to click over here, here and I'm going to close this path. Next I'll start the fill and stroke tool, go to the stroke paint tab, remove the stroke. For the fill I'm going to add flat color, make sure it's black and for the opacity I'm going to type 30. Then with the Select and Transform tool, I'm going to send this shadow behind the white object. Next I'm going to click on the circle to select it, Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Holding down the Shift key, I'm going to add to the selection the shadow. Then go to Object, Clip, Set. And now I'm going to click away and also remove these guides. And if you want to adjust the shadow, we can do this with this tool. Click over here on this object, then click on one of these nodes, holding down the shift key, add the other node to the selection, and then grab one of these and adjust the shadow to something like this, for example. And I hope this tutorial was useful. If it was, like the video, subscribe, visit my channel for more, and that's it for now. Bye.